Hi there, I'm Christine Lee with Torrance City Cable and today I'm giving you a virtual tour of the Torrance Art Museum's Gallery 2. And joining me is Hope Escura. It's so nice to see you. Pleasure to have you. I'm already excited being in this hallway. I mean, this art piece is amazing. Yeah, this was actually installed last year, 2019. It's a site-specific piece made out of tape, actually. So it's tape? A that's electrical tape. Wow, <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. And I mean, I think it sets the vibe as we go inside. What are we expecting to see today? So actually, as you said, this sets the vibe really well. It's a lot of like pop sort of low brow art with this very great aesthetic that flows along the way with this. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the public cannot come in right now, so we're giving them this virtual tour. Tell me about the artists that are being featured and what they're trying to accomplish through their artwork. So we have two artists in the show. This is a two-man show, uh, Music to My Eyes. We're featuring Rob Grad and also James Van Arsdale. They're two musicians and visual artists, and they're looking at music through their practice of art. How unique. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. So on this side, we have James Van Arsdale. He is looking at sort of pop imagery here. He wants to use a lot of kind of 70s and 60s motifs here in jeans and leather. And in this case, the imagery of kites and also the imagery of those jean jackets that people wore in the 60s, so he's trying to look at nostalgia, music, bands, memory, time, place, which I think it's also very poignant right now, mm -hmm. where we're kind of unmoored in time right now to give us a sense of time. So we have over here two pieces by James Van Arsdale. They're mantras on guitar straps, so these are the straps that people have over their shoulders to hold their guitars and he has placed on them almost Buddhist mantras to try to remind himself to be present, to be here, alive in the present moment. And the sound of now, he's trying to invite the viewer to be here, be now, and be present. I think this, this message is so important, especially right now, right? We're, so very much so, yes. Yeah. Oh, and what about this in the middle? I love this one. So this one here, he was actually inspired by the Sedlik Ossuary in Prague, where they have decorative bone remains. Here he used a, uh, a roadie case that musicians would take and used it kind of like a tombstone and arranged the bones inside of it. And this is his invitation to think about the past and your place in it. And also, he also brought in some of the, like the 70s and 60s aesthetic with yeah. that kind of pop sort of aesthetic there. I guess we'll finish with James Van Arsdale's. This is his last piece. This is the one that probably has the most homage to that 60s, 70s vibe. He kind of goes back to old sci-fi TV shows here, kind of like old Star Trek, those styrofoam, mm -hmm. surrealist backgrounds, and again, music and nostalgia, and he's trying to convey a sense of place and time and location and memory. Mm, that's beautiful, and I love the, the sparks of color too, right? There's red, orange, and then, yeah. On the back, what is that supposed to represent? So the, the title of this piece it's the Electro Explosive Time Machine to the 70s. And so that's the Electro Explosive part of the... It's transforming you back in time. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. So Rob's very interesting in the fact that he started out as a musician and he was actually signed out, uh, I think it was RCA that he was signed with. And so his work actually are travel photographs from his time as a musician layered on top of each other to create the sense of flow of rhythm. And so you can see these different places, and some of them are actually ink, but you can see these photographs that he took during his travels of, while he was touring as a musician. He, he has lyrics and poetry included in this one, and the, he still has the photography of the travels and locations that he's seen. I really like this piece right here, it's a little 
outhouse in the middle of the woods. Mm -hmm. I like that as the focal point of this piece. Yeah. But again, you have this sort of fluidity of almost music where he takes his previous career as a musician and he brings it over to his career as a visual artist and that flow and that time. So this one's called Switching Lanes and this is about his, his switch between being a musician and going into visual arts. And so this is switching lanes in his practice. Out of curiosity, why did these musicians decide to pursue art? So uh, Rob actually, he chose to pursue art because he had actually a falling out with his bandmates and he was kind of at a crossroads and I think he was in Paris and he was seeing the aesthetic beauty of the city and it inspired him to create artwork. And James, on the other hand, has been a visual artist and a musician for his entire professional career, so he does both interchangeably. So this one's Serenade, it's a, a night scene and I like how it's got this sort of very elegant sweep of this the serenade. Is the shape supposed to be anything in particular? I, I think it's just supposed to be evocative of music. It's supposed to be evocative of kind of the sound of a song. Is that also a part of a picture too? Yeah, so you're looking at right here, there's a water. water and you have the reflections and then there's the moonlight. And so it's like a, a nighttime serenade. Somebody may be playing some music by the water in the evening. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, is there anything that you want viewers to take away from this experience? I think that the, the big thing is to find peace, to be able to hold on to good memories, to look at the beauty of the world that we live in, and to be able to look at different things through different eyes. Like the way that these artists are able to look at music through visual art, to be able to take an open mind to the world around us. Awesome, thank you so much for showing me around, Hope. That's a pleasure. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching at home. We'll see you next time. <laughs>